What's going on, everybody? I appreciate those of you that were hanging out, waiting for the stream to start. For those of you watching the replay, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on all notifications so you'll be alerted when we do these live chats and take part. So I uh, wasn't sure if I was going to go live today or not. Those of you that saw yesterday's stream already knew this. I was able to make a bit of time, got a bunch of stuff done. Uh, I mean, I, I'm not, not even able to close that closet door right now. There's stuff blocking it, but I got a bunch of shoes unpacked. A lot of the clothes are unpacked. Um, still got a lot going on. I mean, there's still boxes all over. Mountain brackets for back of my TV. Entertainment center's in here now. I just need to mount the TV. There's a lot going on. You'll notice a familiar fragrance buy package right here. The fragrance package that I told you guys about yesterday it came in today. I'm going to be busting that open in a few hours after this stream. I'm going to do some more things, and then I'll film then unboxing and first impressions. Always excited to do a fragrance haul video. I mean, always. So that's going to be fun. That's going to be tomorrow's video. But let's start it off the way we normally do. Atelier Cologne, Pacific Lime, working on a collaboration review with Chad on his channel. Uh, finally getting around to spending time with this one. Gorgeous. Uh it's hard. It's kind of a toss up. Clementine, California and this orange sanguine actually ended up not being my favorite. It's between this and Clementine, California. That's so watery, fresh, peppered, citrus. Just Clementine, California is its own thing. But this lime and coconut just done to perfection. My God, is this such a beautiful tropical fragrance? Loving it. Not a beastly performer, but it is very rich, beautiful, mouth watering Tropicana type of fragrance. I so good. I encourage everybody to try this one. This might be my favorite. It's not, I go back and forth every day, I guess you could say. This is just so, so good. And they use naturals. I mean, literally, it says it right here if I can get it to focus. There we go. 91% of ingredients of natural origin. So they use quality source materials. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. But let's see who's wearing what in the chat those of you just getting here make sure to hit that thumbs up on your way in i noticed we got 60 viewers in the first minute and only 18 likes it's a third we can do better so and obviously you guys saw the title there's four specific fragrances it's four that's on topic today that when i was unpacking everything i was like god i haven't wore these in so long i haven't seen them because they're always in the back of the collection in boxes well as you can see that's not the case anymore so Climatic, good to see you, my man. Center of the days, Martial wanted soapy and clean. You need to put your nose on this one. Jeff says, let's get it cranking. Frank said, wearing Jimmy Choo Man Aqua. I'm working outside all day. Needed something chill. Got to love the Florida heat. Yeah, it says, feels like 107 uh, when I looked a few minutes ago. 89, but feels like 107 with 71% uh, humidity. So it's not full on humidity today. Josh, good to see you. Dominique, what's going on? Kevin, good to see you. Let's see. Because I'm better than you and you know it. Well, I mean, they're still it's still better than you, baby, right now. The, the tag team's still going. I thought for sure they were going to break up after the tag team loss, uh, the title tag team title match loss to FTR. I'm loving that's like the best story AEW's got going right now. Because it's funny, it's the inevitable is going to be a severe rivalry, probably for the all-in pay-per-view, but I would say probably this week they're going to break up. Clinton, good to see you. Gang's all here. Senate Day, Dior Ohm Cologne. That's good stuff. Good afternoon to you as well. Spencer, what's going on? We're John Barbados Vintage. Tell us what's happening. We're in Profumum Roma Aqua di Sal. I love the name. Never tried it. Say Less by Day 3. So I'm probably going to wear Bonnie at some point this week. The mango fragrance from them. That's I'm, I'm doing all tropical stuff this week. I mean... Like, I want to wear this. I still have it out. I just keep wanting to go tropical. I mean, just move to the beach. Why the hell not, right? But I'm going to be wearing this very soon. I, this did impress me, for those of you that saw the Raxor video. This is good stuff. You see this out for 20 bucks. You like blue fragrances. Buy it. It's worth it. <clears throat> What's going on, Dan? Oscar de la Renta, Port Louis. I've passed that up a few times at Burlington. Indeed, that is. That's the same fragrances I told you guys about yesterday. It came in today. So, Joel, good to see you. Come de Garcon. Check in from Arizona. Keep up the good work, Ross. Love the videos. Anthony, I sure appreciate you, sir. And we'll dive into the first one here in just a second. Mincere Blue Gin. Love the name, Blue Gin. Hello. Sammy Andrews, White Sapphire, the Hachibot clone. Catch my whiff. What's going on, man? Good to see you. 
Salvatore Ferragamo, Aqua Ascendiali, Colonia. That could have been in here, but it wasn't in the back of the collection. It was always towards the front. I just haven't been wearing it, but that's one I need to reach for. It's good stuff. Really like Aqua de Palma, Colonia Pura, I'm assuming is what you meant to put, but that's my favorite from the brand for sure. Send of the day three today. Sicily, because the sun was out. Trillium after the shower. That is what I wore out the shower last night as well. I wore Trillium last night. Did an Instagram post. And Stronger With You, the original for the evening. Well, that is three really good ones. Sicily, Trillium, and Stronger With You. I mean, that's, that's a hell of a lineup right there. Great three-part day for you. Scott, good to see you. Light blue and tinge. Can't go wrong there. Alpine Ohm Sport. Never tried it. Enrique, good to see you. Wearing you or someone like you from Italy with orange. Car Black. Lagerfeld, Flor de Lee. It's a tea flower fragrance, okay? Isimiyaki, OG. Senator likes this the most, so it gets a lot of, lot of wear from me. Love the live streams. Glad the movement. Well, I appreciate that, Charlie. Thank you very much. Just, I'm happy to get back to doing the live stream. So for those of you that didn't see the community post, there is an official schedule that I'm going to try to adhere to until further notice. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, live streams. 3 p.m. Central. Today's the first of it. I was going to try to start the schedule for next week, but I was able to get around to doing it today. I uh, went to the new gym today, trained in the pit, sweat my ass off. It was great. Rusted up old plate dumbbells and old equipment. It was just, it was like working out in a sauna. It was great. I can't, I was soaking ass wet. Obviously they have an inside part too, but that's like the warehouse. They call it the pit it's outdoors and people training shirtless and stuff like that. It's not typical gym rules as, old body Dorian Yates and Arnold and stuff posted all over. It's warehouse. It's great. Those of you that follow my fitness IG account, you saw some of the posts. It's awesome. Awesome. Super happy to be going there. Cause I've been eating like shit the last week. So not completely, but more than usual. So it's nice to uh, get a good sweat and get some cardio after the fact. Percival. Excellent choice. Oh, this is a lot bigger. This room's a lot bigger. Like, I would say it's almost double the size. And it has a second closet. The closet's about the same size as the closet I had in there, but I have two of them. So, yeah, it's, it's much, much bigger room. Much bigger room. Love it. Nishane Cologne must try. Scored another Aqua Allegoria. At a different Marshalls this week. Don't da be damn, you finding these girl lines. That's crazy. Best frag for hot, humid day. Well, for me personally, for this hot, humid day, it feels like 107, 107 degrees Fahrenheit. Atelier Cologne Pacific Lime. Just gorgeous lime coconut fragrance. I strongly encourage you to try this one. It is gorgeous. Sweat my ass off outside earlier. And speaking of, let's go ahead and dive into this. So the first one, we'll go with one that was in the thumbnail. So, uh, all right. Let me pull this comment down. Obviously, we're going to get behind in the comments. So I'm going to have to skip some in a little bit, but I sprayed this on my arm as soon as I unpacked it. L1212 Eau Fraiche. This is a big five ounce bottle. Found this at Marshall's a long time ago. Limoncello. Beautiful gelatin like lemon smell, a little bit of spice. I'll give it a second. Sorry about that, guys. I see it's loading. Internet's, for some reason, I'm getting some lag right now. It's kind of strange. Why is it still lagging? Hold on, guys. Let's see if we can get this fixed here. Two, one. Okay, we're back. So, because it was still spinning over here on YouTube. So, I apologize. So, I did an internet speed test beforehand. It's I'm paying for 1.2 gigabytes per second with uh, my internet. And today, the download speed was 51 megabytes per second. Several hundred the other night. But before this, because I noticed when I was waiting, sorry to get off topic here, but when I was waiting to go live, it started spinning, black screen spinning. And I was like, how? Let me check. 51 megabytes per second. I am paying for 1.2 gigabytes per second. Look, I understand slowing down with other, you know, being in an apartment complex, but there's no reason I should be lower than two or 300 megabytes per second. So I should have no connection issues, but for some reason, 
having some. So I apologize if this happens again. But back to L1212 Ofresh from the cost. This does not show up anywhere anymore. I couldn't tell you the last time I saw a post on social media about this fragrance. And I have a big old bottle. It's great for this weather. I am going to be wearing this one a lot more. In this box is L1212 Blanc Eau Fraiche and Eau Intense, the, new, the last two releases. So I have the Eau de Parfum, which the next shelf down got my Lacoste fragrances. I have the Eau de Toilette. I have the Eau de Parfum. I have the Eau Fraiche. I have Magnetic, the blue bottle. So I have a few of them from this line. But, man, this is some good stuff that gets absolutely zero love. It's what you see here, minty. Minty green and lemony with some of the feel of the white, the original one, L1212 Blanc. This is a great fragrance. Not going to win any performance awards here. It's like a five-hour fragrance, but four to five hours, but it's so good. And it's great to have a big bottle. I've, I've been having it for years. It was in the back of the collection on a bottom shelf, so it was just sitting there. This was like the post. That's why I want to start with this one. It's like the poster child for this. So let's pull up the notes on it. We'll do a split screen real quick. just so you guys can check it out here. So super low rating. It's getting no love on here. It's so much better. Look, it's not mind-blowingly good, but it's so much better than this mid-level rating that it's getting. Citrus fresh, synthetic, aquatic, woody. So you got aquatic notes, aromatic notes, limoncello, and cedar wood. Um, I believe there's some mint in here because it does have a minty freshness to it. And it's so underappreciated. I'm not saying this is some must-have fragrance from Lacoste, but again, I, I never see it out at any rack stores or anything like that or any posts on social media. So I'm not even sure what it's going for these days, but if it's still cheap and you, and you, let's say you have fragrances that feature the limoncello note and you're familiar with it, it's this very gelatin thick, almost jammy lemon type of smell. And as weird as that may sound with some minty green aspects to a very watery, uh, zesty, fresh kind of fragrance. If you're familiar with, kind of that scent profile or anything about that, you might want to look into this one because it gets no love. It gets no love. Again, not some must have. It's like a seven out of 10 fragrance. Very good, but not spectacular and special. And it's it's better than even the better than good ratings of a six and 6.5. Uh, that's where the blue and magnetic, that kind of falls into like the six out of 10 range. This is more of a seven out of 10 fragrance according to my rating scale. And I'm going to be wearing this one Probably within the next few days. I've been spraying it on my arm. It's been sitting out here on the desk because it deserves to be out. I haven't worn it in a while. Really, really good stuff. Let's go ahead and pull this down. But again, that is Lacoste L1212 Ofresh. Good stuff. Just phenomenal fragrance, in my opinion. Phenomenal enough, anyways. Just hiding in the back of the collection. So before we dive into another one, let's try to get caught up on some of these comments. So I'm going to have to skip some of these guys. Good, but it's in the day. Prada Lome, excellent choice. Day off, 95 degrees. Some CK Defy. Can't go wrong there. Shelves look great, my man. Dunhill Custom. The apple on this guy is great. Apparently more so batik or it smells like second soul. That's interesting. Your mom, 85. I like the shirt. It shows that you've officially made it to Florida. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Glad you're getting settled. Little by little. Little by little. Looks huge pause for effect right yeah that's a big five ounce bottle this might be like 5.1 ounce or something like that bigger than that 5.9 ounce 175 ml so it's almost six ounces big big bottle dino what's going on salvatore ferragamo in canto blue that's one i need to spend time with i bought not that long ago and haven't wore it uh so we're on a waiting list for a garage i don't have a garage right now we're on a waiting list for that so I bought, a, I bought a cover for my motorcycle because I don't want to just sitting out cooking in the sun <laughs> and being in the rain all the time because it rains all the time. Green Lover and still never tried it. Good afternoon. Banana Republic, Black Walnut, Burberry Touch. Stay smelling good, my friends. Excellent, excellent choices, Michael. You mentioned clearing out some old and worn frags. I have to move anything noteworthy. Uh, not really. Not really. PDM Darley. Excellent. So we are, no, I'm not wired in. So the modem is in the living room because for some reason the coaxial is not working in here because I was going to put it in here and just run Ethernet because it's most important for this room because this is where I conduct my business, I this computer. So is what it is. 
So it, it's in the living room, unfortunately. Indeed, indeed. That's going to be for tomorrow's video. Jimmy Choo Man Ice, excellent choice. So we're getting close to the bottom. We'll be able to dive into the next one. Like the video. That's what I'm talking about. Like the video, guys. 55 likes, 102 viewers, about half. We can do better than that. Hit that thumbs up for me if you don't mind, guys. Ogivre, that needs to jump in the rotation ASAP, too. There's just so many fragrances I want to wear. You can. Let us know your P.O. box. So I can send you a couple things. So I haven't gotten a P.O. box yet. I'm trying to get my mail right now. I had some little form to fill out just to get them because there's packages being held up that I had addressed and mailed here. Uh, some new bracelets. I got some fragrances coming. The new watermelon triple X from, um, from Copper Still Fragrances. He asked me if I I'd like to check out the new one. I said, sure. Sent, gave him the new address. I, I know that's got to be here. It's been shit six days ago that he gave me the tracking. So I'm sure it's here. I just haven't gotten the package yet. So it's held up at the post office. So not yet. <laughs> I'll let you guys know, though. So, yeah, that, that's actually in this package, the Eau Fraiche. Yeah, it's a different Eau Fraiche. This isn't Blanc Eau Fraiche. This is just L1212 Eau Fraiche. Then they have L1212 Blanc Eau Fraiche, which is part of the L1212 white line, which, again, that's that's in here. So there's two different Eau Fraiches for L1212. Also ordered Amouage Enclave Twins. Okay. I wanted a mint fragrance. Well, Enclave's a hell of a mint fragrance for sure. Also, if you like creamsicle mixed with gin, you'll love Green Lover. That's what I've heard. I've heard Justin give it a lot of high praise. You know, Wi-Fi, whenever it hits speed, you need, got a hard one. Well, yeah, I don't have a choice right now. Um, I have two outlets, literally the outlet on right here on this wall and on this wall, but the one in the middle works. It's weird, but both sets of outlets right here don't work. He's coming to take, uh, talk to the guy today. He's coming to take care of that uh, tomorrow morning before I go to the gym. He was like, I can do that right now if you want. I was like, ah, I'm about to go live. I didn't want to reschedule a live stream. So can you come back tomorrow morning? So I'll do that tomorrow. So let's see. So today's Brass and Soul. Just revisiting first round Z creators. Love all three of them. BOP is tomorrow. BOP is. Let me move my head. Right there. That's the only two out the boxes. Even Mystique and Business Over Pleasure. That's the only boxes I kept with the Zaharoff boxes. Threw away all the other boxes. Zerzhoff boxes, Amwage boxes. I threw them all away. I kept my Zaharoff boxes because those are works of art in themselves. Prada Amber Pour Ohm. I'm not going to move my chair. I could point that one out too. That's part of the fun for me. So I'll always remember where everything, where I put everything. It's really good in my honest opinion. I've had it for a couple of years now. Center of the day, Hugo Ball Selection. I've never tried Selection. What bike you got? I ride a GSXR 600 with a uh, full um, Two Brothers Black Series full race system, Canon filter, and it has been tuned. It doesn't have a power commander. It's been tuned. So it's Pretty much fast as a seven, a little bit faster than a 750. I didn't change the sprockets and you know up this many in the in the rear and down this many. I didn't change any of the sprockets or anything like that. So I don't want the wheel just coming up all the time. I'm not looking to pull. I'll manually hit a wheelie, which is very rare. If I really want to get the front wheel off the ground, I want to be able to roll back the throttle and the wheel not come up. So that's why I don't I don't deal with any of that. 600 with some added performance was perfect for me. It was all I needed super fast enough <laughs> i don't need a 1000 you know because i hear from all oh, every time i tell somebody i got a 600 oh you need a 1000 you need this you need a 1400 no i don't i don't need that <laughs> i don't <laughs> literally walked out of burlington bought grassland hope i'm not disappointed i mean if you're looking for a great version of green irish tweed you're in good you're in good shape there dang him great recommendations he is good at that i have to say Going on, missed the first live stream, but I'm here. Congratulations on the move. Scent choice is Gree Charnel from BDK. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. For Pacific Lime, you think more feminine or less than Coco Loco? Neither are really feminine at all. Neither. An amazing Coco Loco has an amazing unisex coconut. I easily apply. I mean, this is perfectly unisex too. I don't think it leans feminine at all. So on that note, let's go ahead and jump into the next one. So the next one is also in the thumbnail. It is my big five-ounce bottle of Chanel Lorome Sport Cologne. This is the old Cologne Sport version, which is the same fragrance as the one that just says Cologne. 
because it doesn't it says sport twice on it. Chlorome Sport Cologne Sport. This is an old 2014 bottle. And for being citrus dominant, they haven't spoiled and soured. This is what Diorome Cologne, Mercedes-Benz Cologne, and Jimmy Choo Man Ice wish they could be. This is so much more complex, refined, and quality, higher quality than all of those. It's in the same vein as Diorome Cologne, Mercedes-Benz Cologne. Look, I love all of them. I love all of those that I mentioned. But this is superior. Chanel's take on it is the is the one. It's also the most expensive one, obviously. But this is the best fragrance. It's a variety of citrus. There's some woods, some greens to it. It's a beautiful sporty, as the name would indicate. Very sporty, fresh, hot weather fragrance. That's great in the office as well. Highly versatile, citrus dominant, freshy. It's what you would expect from Chanel. It's really, really, really freaking good. This was hanging out in the back of the collection. I haven't wore this in since this time last year, which was when I did a review on it. I've had it for several years. I finally got around to doing a review of it when I was in Louisiana for my trip last year because I took it with me because I had not been wearing it. And same thing, I haven't been wearing it pretty much since then because it's been sitting in the back of a shelf in its box, which it does not have anymore. Um, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. Let's go ahead and pull up the notes on it. Take a look. Um, sport cologne oh so they actually have the old formula see they changed it in 2016 the batch code for my bottle is 2014 so i mean we might as well look at the old version right because that's what we're talking about here but fresh citrus woody spicy aquatic grapefruit lemon bergamot aldehydes mandarin orange neroli orange elemi spices tonka bean cedar pepper white musk and vetiver so let's look at the note breakdown versus what's on the market now. So looks a bit different, doesn't it? Sicilian, Mandarin, Orange, Lovage, whatever the hell that is. Elemy, White Musk, Cedarwood, and Amber. So I'm pretty sure I haven't smelled the Cologne version. It is two different perfumers, um, but I would assume they're not greatly different from one another. So you got Olivier Poge versus Jacques Poge. So it's, it's not the same perfumer, but... I'm sure they're not vastly different from one another, but what you see in this note breakdown is, is kind of what you get. You get a variety of citrus. It's zesty, so that spices and pepper, it's, it adds a lot of zest and, and kind of an invigorating feel to the aroma. Beautiful stuff. Average performance, too, for being so bright and fresh. It actually stays for a while, I have to say. Uh, it's got a little bit of staying power. I'm not sure what synthetic is doing that to give it some staying power. For as bright of a fragrance as it is, typically something this bright and airy isn't going to last. And it lasts a decent while. Just such good stuff. Such good stuff. So, again, I'm not sure about how different the regular cologne version is, the one that just says cologne down here. But I'll tell you what, if you ever come across cologne sport, it's all that. It's superior to Diorum cologne, Mercedes-Benz cologne, and Jimmy Choo Man Ice. It is that much better. It is noticeably different. Went to Sephora after reading Jason's article about Cafe Rose by Tom Ford. My mother-in-law and, and wife want a bottle. There you go. Making major profits. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Waiting on the mall elixir delivery today. I hope you like it. It's phenomenal. One of the best designer releases of this year. For some people, it's the best designer release. Made it to new digs. Supernova Cologne Intense. Well, I appreciate you, Gabe. Thank you, man. MJ, MJ, M Junior Painful. Sin of the day is Polo Deep Blue. Well, I appreciate you, my man. Glad you're here. I have Phaser 600. Yep, agree. 600 is enough. Yeah, I mean, I zip in and out of cars. and I don't need more than that. <laughs> Sounds mean as shit because, I mean, for 600, it is mean as shit. It's it's plenty. It's plenty of bike for me. I don't need a 1000. The only 1000 I would get is a muscle bike. Like I'd like to get I'd like to get a second bike at some point. No no rush. Obviously, I want a Corvette before I want a second bike, but um an FZ10. Yamaha FZ10. I would like to get a naked bike, muscle bike. I, I'd like to get one of those. Cuz I have my Super Sport. So I'm good. 
Scotch Porter sampler set as part of the golf tournament gift. All four fragrances were blah. Ooh, I've heard good things about them. I'm surprised to hear you say that. Grab some move one with Cheapy Banger, Legend Spirit. Today is North Texas in this North Texas heat. Yeah, that's a good one. You can't go wrong. I've been through a 30 ml bottle of it. It's good stuff. Greetings to you as well. Prince Riviera, after watching your review, picked it up. 20 bucks yesterday. Love it so far. That's right here. It's worth grabbing for 20 bucks. I think I say just pull the trigger. Have the cologne. So when we just discussed that you were here for it. I got two five ounce bottles of cologne sport. Cologne sports fire. I agree. I like, but I didn't buy so I could finish my Dior own cologne bottle. That's fair. Love the spices. 2014 works in the cold. It, it's like I said, it's if you can find this cologne sport version, it's it's awesome. Again, I, I haven't tried the regular cologne one since they reformulated it. So I, I don't know how similar it is. Allure is longer lasting than Missoni. Uh probably, but I, I, I paid $32 for Missoni Wave and I get like seven hours, so I'm cool with that. You know, I'm cool with it. Lean, yes. Yeah, it's definitely more feminine. I want to start getting more into unisex fragrances. It definitely leans more feminine. It's rose dominant. It smells like fruit punch and rose. <sighs> Little and Pika. New one's very lemony. So this one's got a lot of orange going for it. Front wheel coming up. 110. I missed something. I think I missed something that you're talking about. Front wheel coming up 110. Are you talking about a bike? Because I don't see the previous comment. Let's see. Good evening. Good to see you're back up and running. Made it safely. John Barbados, Artisan Pure. You can't go wrong there. Why O Fresh? Another one you can't go wrong with. To be fair, Scotch Porter, Miami Duppy ain't that bad. I think that's the one Justin likes. Miami Duppy. I want to say that's the one I've heard him speak highly of. Other channel, Siesta Drive. <clears throat> and after this one, we're going to dive into the third fragrance. Frank Olivier, Blue Touch. I've heard this similar to... Uh, Aqua de Joe. Got Blue Atlas, Infrared. Which version? Moon Rosa Ocean. Again, which version? <laughs> uh, Eternal Coffee. That's good stuff. Rifaka. That's good stuff. Camaro Almond. You got some good stuff. Bilbo. What's going on, my man? How are you? Cheers, Bilbo. Exactly. Good to see you, Bilbo. So on that note, we're going to dive into the next one. So here's one I reviewed quite a while back. Davidoff Run Wild. This is Basically, the original Lazaro wanted Davidoff's take on it. That's how you can look at that. It's spicy. It's got a little bit of that Invictus sweet bubblegum kind of thing going on. And it's a decent performer. There was a time when I was raving about this fragrance, and it just kind of fell into obscurity in the back of the collection. And it is still so good. It smells just like Lazaro wanted. Very similar to Spice Bomb Night Vision Eau de Toilette, the first version. They all kind of fall into the same family. I have all three very redundant to one another. This used to be super cheap. I would assume if it's still available in the market, if it's still in production, it's still going to be super cheap. It's a Davidoff fragrance. But guys, you want to talk about, and it used to show up in the rack stores all the time. This is good stuff. If you like anything about Wanted, if you like the original Wanted or Night Vision, and you want one that kind of leans more Invictus than those do? Like, this is more of that Invictus sweet bubblegum feel than either of those are. Closer to Wanted than Spice Bomb Night Vision EDT. But also more like Spicy Invictus than even Hawass. You know this? Because this really very much smells like Invictus with some cinnamon. That's basically what it smells like. So let's pull up the notes. I've always been such a fan of this one. It sucks that it just kind of sat in the back of the collection. But I'm going to get it back in the rotation. Here we go. Davidoff Run Wild from 2019. Synthetic, sweet, fresh, green, and spicy. American Lavender, American Lavender, Madagascan Cinnamon, and Fur Balsam. That makes sense. Green, aromatic, and spicy. You get all of that for sure. So just out of curiosity, I just want to see if it's still, yeah, it's still cheap. There you go. 50 ml for 25 bucks. So, I mean, that's I paid right around 20 bucks four years ago, three years, three and a half, four years ago, something like that. As I want to say, I bought it from maybe FragranceNet. I don't, I don't remember getting this one at the rack store. 
I might have gotten it at a Marshall's. I don't remember. It was back when I was in Texas. God, it smells so good. I don't want to spray anything on my arms because I got this, this haul video that we're going to be doing in a little while. So that's why I'm not wearing Pacific Lime anywhere but my neck. Good stuff, though, guys. Like I said, not going to be for everybody. It's, it's definitely more on the youthful, playful side of things. But if you like just basically spicy Invictus, let's say you want – you don't even want to spend the money that Hawass commands. Now, obviously, that has a little bit more of an Invictus Aqua twist to it, but it's still – more Invictus than Invictus Aqua, in my opinion, with spices. This kind of call, falls somewhere into the same vein as Hawass because of the cinnamon, cinnamon dominance here uh, with the Sweet Bubblegum Aquatic, just not quite as fresh as Hawass. Also not as synthetic as Hawass. I think Hawass comes across a little more synthetic and sharp than this one, but it's not a monster like Hawass. A strong performer it's just not a beast so think about that 25 bucks yeah it's only 50 ml but it depends if you see this one at a rack store though go for it i mean this is it's a safe pickup but it's one that was sitting in the back of the collection that i'm glad to have come across and it's like oh yeah i love this one i forgot because i have so many so it's gonna make its way in the rotation probably in the evenings start wearing that out to dinner because wednesday we're gonna go out to dinner i might wear that one i don't know Let's see. So I got behind. Not too far, though. Anyone tried Oman Luxury Overdose? I haven't tried that one. I have not tried it. Definitely want to try the Davidoff. One. There you go. Mike, go, go. The EDT of both. Okay. I mean, they're both good. I mean, all four. Ocean EDT and EDP, both good. Infrared EDT and EDP, both phenomenal. Even better, you know, but I'm just... For me, one of the best releases, top three of the year in designers. I got Lamal Elixir up there. I got Spice Bomb Infrared Eau de Parfum up there. And what am I leaving out? Because I said them yesterday in the stream. Because Issy Miyake, Low Dissy Vetiver is kind of in the four hole. Because I had it in the three, and I was like, eh, let me move it to four. But we'll do that video at the end of the year. But that's the kind of praise I put on a fragrance like that. Lunarosa Ocean EDP is really good. I need to spend a little more time with it. It could potentially make that top 10 video for best design releases of this year. We'll see, but I don't know. It's really good, but I don't know if it's good enough. Oh, Boston Scent Magnetic. That's also in the top three, which is in this box. Hope your move went well. It did. Welcome to Florida. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Run Wild's enjoyable. The body wash is also great. Can you ever go wrong with Davidoff? They're the Look, I'm not going to argue with that, Bilbo. As far as being a, a King of Cheapies brand, there's only one fragrance I've ever gotten from Davidoff that I didn't like, and that was the Oceanic Edition that came out this year. And I'm going to continue to give it a try. It smells like BO on my skin, so I just don't like it. But uh, speaking of cool water flankers that are cheap, Reborn is in here. Another 2023 release from them. So I'm all about Davidoff. I like my Davidoff fragrances. What's going on, Rick? On my way to pick up Chanel Lorome Sport Cologne, you might be the only one to have reviewed it. So keep this in mind, Rick. This is the old 2007 formula that says Cologne Sport. It's not the exact, at least the note breakdowns, not the same as the 2016, I believe, was the reformulation. The note breakdown is totally different. And according to a gentleman in the comments section earlier, it's very lemony, whereas this is very orange and peppery. So try it for, I'm sure it's still good. It's a Chanel fragrance. I mean, come on, it's, it's going to be good. It's not like it's going to smell bad. But I would definitely let them, let them hand you the tester bottle and spray it. for. I mean, you know what you're doing. I don't have to tell you what to do when it comes to testing fragrances. But I wouldn't just say, ah, I'll take it because Ross said it was good. No, don't do not do that, Rick, because <laughs> I don't need you mad at me. Definitely spray it first. Uh, again, I don't need to tell you what to do. You know what the hell to do. But, man, if it's anything close to what the old formula is, it's going to be great and you're going to love it especially if you like the other ones that it's similar to, the Diorum Cologne, the Mercedes-Benz Cologne, all that stuff. It's the best one like that. It's the most expensive of the group, but it's the best one of the group, so it warrants commanding the most money, if that makes sense. But happy fragrance shopping, Rick, and good to see you. My haul today is Clinique Happy, Nico Sculpture Parfum. I want to get that one because that was another one that could have went in here that was hiding in the back of the collection. It was Sculpture, the original. Capucci for him, Infinite Rush White Edition, Jesus Del Pozo Gold Cedar Nights, all of them 
great and I'm satisfied. Interesting haul right there. Aquamarine, phenomenal fragrance for this time of year. Icon de Parfum Wicked City. I haven't worn anything from Icon in a while. My favorite spice bomb, Night Vision EDP, but I haven't checked out Infrared EDP yet. Until So I was back and forth when Infrared Eau de Toilette came out because I've raved about Night Vision EDP. So I was back and forth like, oh, did it dethrone it? It's like 1A and 1B. Like they're just so good, but kind of so different, but still have the spice. So I was very back and forth. Now that Infrared EDP is out, that's the clear cut, my favorite version of Spice Bomb. With those two kind of being a tie for second and third kind of thing. But, I mean, they're all good. There's no bad Spice Bomb flanker. I, I still wish Fresh was on the market. It was amazing. I wish, I, I, again, Victor and Rolf, I need Spice Bomb Parfum. I need Spice Bomb Elixir. I need Spice Bomb Blue. I need just all the Spice Bombs. I need all the Spice Bombs. Every version you guys can think of, Spice Bomb Green, even though they got green bottles, just like a more Cypress Basil dominant version. I don't know shit. I just need more Spice Bombs. That's all I know, because that's one of the best men's lines out there. I need all the Spice Bombs. <clears throat> Let's see. Thanks, sir. Are we really at an hour and a half? No. We're at a half an hour, so it did that time zone crap again. I was about to say, it don't feel like an hour and a half. It's wild. Okay. Hollister Wild 2 today because 99 degrees in Denham Springs. Shout out to Denham Springs. I haven't been to Denham Springs in a while. I'll be in Homa in 10 days. 17th, I'm driving out there. Depending on weather, is going to depend on if I take my bike or not. It's a six hour drive that won't take me six hours if I'm on my bike. Difference between Ocean EDT and EP. EDP is more of a smoky vanilla. Much, much more of a smoky vanilla. You gotta like vanilla. Noted. If you've already smelled it, then go go ahead with your bad self. I'm like I said, I'm sure it's good. Probably just as good. I mean, you're sitting here saying it's still fire, so. So the reason I even have this one, shout out to Miguel, moderator in my Facebook group. He was raffling the bottle up away a while, and I was lucky enough. To, this was years ago, and I was lucky enough to win the raffle, and I just went meet up with him. We li both lived in Houston. I just went meet up with him and get it. That's how I even got this. It's a tester bottle. That's why it has the diagram on the back. Let me do this so it'll show. So let me get a certain angle. You can kind of see it because it's very transparent. You see sensual. Fresh, spice, like you got the little tester diagram on the back. It says demonstration at the bottom, but phenomenal fragrance. And it's one of those exceptions that's synthetic citruses. And like I said, I checked the batch code years ago. It's a 2014 bottle. I don't remember what month. And we're nine years in and the citrus hasn't soured yet. Synthetic citruses, citrus dominant, hasn't soured. Fingers crossed because I... God knows how long it would take me to go through that bottle, but hopefully it continues to keep on pumping. It's gorgeous. Fresh cut red chili pepper dipped in spices and rubbed in a leather jacket. I like that description. I may steal that, Dan. I'll give you credit. When I, when I use quotes, I always give credit. I might have to use that. I really like that descriptor. Well said. Yeah, I've heard some good stuff about it. The OG Spice Bomb and Night Vision EP. Definitely got to check. I mean, they're again, they're all good. They're all good. My mom's signature scent. Male version any different? It's been a while. I don't even remember. It's been so long. Orange and pepper is still there in the cologne, but the lemon is amped up. Thank you for clearing that up for me. Because I'm not sure. Because like I said, I haven't smelled the newer version. It's too because of... Oh, we already, we already went to that. Fragrance Apologist. Good to see you. Mr. Miami from Making Sense. Love it. You know of any dupes or clones to Symphonium by Zershoff? I'm not sure. I've never even smelled Symphonium let alone a clone of it. So honestly, I, I don't have any thoughts to offer, unfortunately. Great line for sure. Spice Bomb Original is almost done. Infrared EDP will be bought for this winter for sure. Indeed. Where that Spice Bomb blew at? That's what I'm saying. I don't think they'll do that one next. I, again, if they do that one next, I'm taking. whenever it does happen, I'm taking all the credit for it because I think it's inevitable. I'm taking all the credit for it. 
um, when they boosted my unboxing for infrared ADP on TikTok, it's got almost eight million views. I wish I had that on. I wish they would have boosted the first impressions on here. <laughs> I made I made some money. I'd have made a lot of money if they would have boosted the YouTube video. But I digress. But let's go ahead and get into this last one. So you guys have heard me praise Jaguar Pace Accelerate so many times. But the original Pace is still a great shower gel scent. Spicy shower gel. Green and peppery. But still smells like Embroxin. And believe it or not, now that I think about it, this is one that Jeremy influenced me to buy years ago. Because Jeremy was you know, hyping the shit out of this at one point. Shout out to Jeremy Fragrance. It's still it's still all that. Now, don't get me wrong. I do like Pace Accelerate more. It's very watery, super peppery. It's much more peppered to like clear black pepper smell versus this one with vetiver. But, ooh, smell that in the air. This one's good, too. These, these Jaguar Pace fragrances are so underappreciated. My God, is this good. It's not going to last long. It's like four hours on skin for me. But it smells great and it's cheap. This 60 ml I pay like 19 bucks. Let's pull up the notes. Let's do it. It I'm telling you guys, it, next time you're looking to just add something to your order to get to free shipping or something like that, get this. A 7.1 out of 10 with 274 ratings. So it's not just me. It's not just Jeremy. Which I'm sure a lot of those people bought it because, I mean, years ago, Jeremy was raving about this. Like 2017, 2018, Jeremy was raving about this. Chad has a great review on this. Shout out to Chad, the gentleman's journey. So fresh, aquatic, spicy, synthetic, and woody. Black pepper, green apple, rosemary, and you get all of that. Cashmere and French lavender, iris, doesn't really dominantly smell like iris. Crystallized moss, interesting, right? Amber and patchouli. So it doesn't list the ambroxan. And maybe the cashmere and lavender combo is what smells like ambroxan to me. Maybe it's that combo because lavender seems to get confused with ambroxan in a lot of fragrances. Prime example, Kajal Ferris. That is definitely not ambroxan. It's fresh cut lavender, but it still smells like Sauvage. And Sauvage is an ambroxan bottle. That's a prime example. Mercedes Benz Man Blue. There's Man. Man Blue's right behind it. That's lavender. It smells like Sauvage. There's no Ambro could be Ambroxan in there. It's a cheaper fragrance, but it smells like Ambroxan, but it's listed as lavender. It's the same thing here. Listed as lavender, has an Ambroxan shower gel smell. But damn, this is a good one. Damn, this is a good one. Let's see, let's see what it's going for. Whoops. That was an accident. Well, there's some stock if you guys were interested. There we go. 18 bucks. 18 bucks for the same 60 ml I have in my hand. So there you go. Next time you're ordering something on Fragrance Buy and you're trying to get the free shipping at five fragrances, which I see orders like that all the time, I do the same thing. I do the same thing. I never buy less than five. It's rare. I buy less than five fragrances from Fragrance Buy. But here you go. Here's a great, a phenomenal, in my opinion, filler. For your five fragrance order, let's say you went there for three specific ones and you're just going to grab two cheapies. Let this be one of them. Don't just grab Latafas and Ormoffs and, and all that stuff. Get Jaguar Pace. This was sitting in the back of the collection, and it deserves some run. I might even wear this one out the shower tonight. Kind of like I've been doing with Sean John uh, 3 a.m. and Clean Pure Soap. Just It's great for that. It smells like shower, spicy shower gel in the first place, so it's great for that. So let's scroll down. Hey, Ross, good to see the move went well. Enjoy getting sandwich. Mean, coin flip purchase. Vanilla Oud versus I need Vanilla Oud. I love both, but Vanilla Oud's in my top five in my collection, which we talked about yesterday. Vanilla Oud versus just about any fragrance. I'm going to pick Vanilla Oud. And some of you are being smart asses right now and thinking of typing what about versus Dior and Parfum? What about versus Signature Rosé? Don't do that to me because those are in the top five with it. Don't make me choose what's the best between the top five. Just know that they're the top five in my collection. Because it's it, any given day, it could be a different answer because they're my five favorite fragrances. So Crazy Ups, Angel Share by Killian. 97 here, but who cares? That's the right attitude. That's what I'm talking about. Couldn't wait till winter to rock my rocket. My God, that's a great scent. I agree. It's one of the best DNAs ever created. I heard the rumors months ago about 
Angel Share Parfum being a thing. I haven't heard anything since. I hope that's the case. Same thing with uh, Ombre Leather Eau de Toilette. I haven't heard anything since. I hope that's a thing that comes to fruition. We're supposed to have a new Chanel. Supposedly, we have the new Francis Kirk John Sauvage Blanc. Supposed to be coming out in like a month or two. I'm here for that. If it's if it's a real fresh flanker to Sauvage that doesn't smell like like straight up the EDT or the Cool Spray or something like I, there's a lot of ways they could go with that. I'm thinking like a Lorem Sport Edition Blanche kind of flanker. Maybe not that scent profile, but kind of the way they twisted that. That's kind of what I have in my head with a white Sauvage bottle. But I digress. There's certain releases that I'm still hoping to see, and. It's, that's why I'm going on this tangent about Angel Share because Angel Share Parfum is one of those rumored releases for this year that I would love to smell because it's already a monster. What more can they do with it? And I say that, and they have this you know crazy X straight Absolute Aventus that just came out too. God knows I haven't even looked at the prices on that. God knows what that 75 ml cost. But I digress. See, I'm me and my tangents, right? I'm trying to get Mossy into me and can't find any. And so the the business is discontinued for now. I don't know what Shimaka's got going on, but the website's been down for months. She still posts here and there on the Instagram account, but I don't know what's going on with the business. <clears throat> Rafe, you changed your uh, changed your profile name, Saunderson. Okay, so the day is Fragrance World. No, well, it's not Fragrance World. Fragrance World's version is Imperium. Paris Corners version is Trillium. So you got them backwards. You got both names in the one. So if it's Trillium, it's Paris Corner and Mir, which is right here. If it's Fragrance World's version, it's Imperium. As I sit in the ER, damn, my eight-month-old son has a really bad rash. Damn, well, I hope he gets better. I'll definitely add him to my prayers tonight, man. Vanilla Oud for sure, I agree. When I'm home alone, sometimes I use fall winter fragrances, 10-4. What's going on, Tyler? Good to see you. No problem. Thanks for your time. I got a decan a few months back, and it was amazing scent. Perfect for fall and winter. Macy's is giving away $10 rewards right now, and on the 24th is their 15% off sale. So, guys, I got to say, anytime you want the inside scoop with Macy's, Rick's always got the info. Rick's a regular at Macy's. He hits these 15% off sales all the time. He is a regular shopper at Macy's, so... He's got the scoop. I got to say, thanks for letting me know, Rick. So on the 24th, keep that in mind. I'm not sure what brand new release I would, wouldn't want to wait for. There's some, there's releases that come that I got to have like that polo green oud. I don't know when that's dropping. It might already be out. That would be one I'd be willing to get for retail or 15% off from Macy's. That's why I'm bringing that up. Cause I'm trying to think what would I be wanting to get from Macy's. Hmm. Because there's always something. Like I did that with Boss Bottle Pacific. I did that with Ralph's Club Elixir. I buy certain things at full retail. <clears throat> it's my current out the shower just now. Jaguar Pace looks like Black Panther Wakanda Forever crossing my arms emoji. 12 quid. I'm tempted. Look, it's, it's not the greatest fragrance you've ever smelled. I promise. But when it comes to peppery green shower gel fragrance, it's for under $20 U.S., it's, it's untouchable for the price. It's untouchable because it doesn't smell like an $18 fragrance. It just doesn't. Sadly, I can't smell pace after five minutes, but evolution works for five minutes. Really? Really? I'm surprised to hear that. I th that's definitely a nausea, my man. Mustard squirrel. What's going on, man? Got in Shiaka. Way better than Reflection Man clone. Way better Reflection Man clone than Killer Ood Revolution. That I could believe. That I could believe. Um, I haven't tried Revolution. I wanted to, then I got Shiok, and I was like, I don't need to, because it's that good. It's that accurate that I was like, mm, I don't need to try another one. I have Reflection Man. Now I have what's probably the best Reflection Man clone with it. I'm good, because I don't wear that scent profile all the time. Whereas with Aventus, I love exploring all the different twists and takes on Aventus and Invictus Aqua. And that's why I have so many fragrances that smell like that. Um, Silver Mountain Water, Fierce. Stuff that I just I wear those scent profiles all the time. I want all the twists on that. Halcyon versus Angel Share. I still choose Halcyon. I am with you, sir, because it's a cinnamon bomb. God, it's so much. It's not as boozy, and I agree. But I, I still say because it's 
technically a clone of Angel Share, a niche clone. Even though it's superior, I agree. I think it's better. Angel Share was first. So that's why I always say the Angel Share DNA. Oh, yeah, Jonathan agrees with you, too. Burberry Brit Splash. No, I have not. From Burlington. Gives me Aqua de Joe Essenza vibes. Noted. Imperium. I stand corrected. Okay, yeah, because if it was Fragrance World, it's Imperium. So, because, yeah, I wore The reason this is right here, I wore it last night. So, so good. So fresh. So, so fresh. Oh, so fresh. Until I find winter fragrances calling me better than anything else from Stretch. And from stress, which I'll be honest, isn't often. Well, that's awesome <laughs> to not be stressed all the time. That's awesome. So EDP is my favorite version. But Sony Poor Ohms on the way. Hope it's worth the hype. I mean, it's cheap. I need to get YSL myself. I still need to try it. Phantom Parfum. That's what you had in there. That's the other fragrance you're planning on getting. Because that's what I want to try first. Because the original Phantom didn't blow me away. I still don't own a bottle. So it was like, eh, it's nice, but am I going to ever want to wear it? And the answer was really no. That's kind of how I was with Invictus Victory for a while. Like, I really enjoy it now. I'm glad I have it. It took time, though. And I think that's what's going to happen with me and Phantom. But I do want to try the Parfum because Parfums are usually my favorites. Hey, here late, but welcome to Florida. Thank you, Eddie. Typed the whole Paris Corner thing myself, but deleted because I knew I wouldn't need to hit send. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. I got you. We're on it. Heard it was good. I've heard it was good too. Born in Rome Intense. You ever order from Europe? News Parfums. No, no, I know all about them, but I never order anything from them. So I actually did a video on that. If you wanted to help support the channel with a view and some watch time and a like, you know, some good old engagement, uh, monetized watch time, I greatly appreciate that. But it depends on your situation. Where I'm at, the original. Where I was, the intense. Because I'm in high humidity heat now. I was in the mountains and snow before. So because the intense is warmer, spicier, and more animalistic. And crazy strong. Anosmia within minutes, strong. And then eight hours later, your nose comes back and smells like you just sprayed it. That's my typical experience with it. I'm glad to have both. In the winter, I'll wear the intense. Because the winter here is kind of like the early spring, late fall, mid-fall in Colorado Springs. So, But I would have to say if you're in a very hot climate, the original is going to be the better choice. Much fresher. When it comes to Angel Share, I enjoyed Camera more than... The, and see, Camera is super sweet. Super sweet. Honestly, for me, I prefer Lafetti Intoxicate over Camera. And I like both. I like both a lot. Um, but I'm not always in the mood for the level of sweet that Camera is. So that's why I say that. I want a cinnamon bomb. Carnival Barcelona. Megalium. Megalium. Noted. Reminds me more of apple juice. Interesting. Don't have any Blue de Chanel or Modern Day Sauvage. Best of each for Florida use. So the EDT for both. You can get away with the EDP, but no, with Sauvage, it's much spicier. Spicier, it's much spi it's spicier overall. I would say with Sauvage, just go with the original EDT. I, maybe wait to see what this Blanc flanker is going to be about. I, I think it's going to be a fresher flanker. But with Blue de Chanel, you can. I mean, the Eau de Parfum is not much darker. The incense is enhanced a bit. The woods are a little bit warmer, but I mean, it'll work fine in Florida heat. But obviously, the Eau de Toilette is going to be the best for the humidity. But I think with Chanel, you can get away with the EDP. I would get out to Macy's and try them because you might like the EDP more. The Parfum still works. I used to wear that when I was in Houston, Texas, but it's not ideal in the heat. It's not ideal. So I would say either the EDT or EDP with Blue de Chanel, definitely the EDT with Sauvage. <clears throat> Appreciate you. Thank you, Frank. Also, been wearing the hell out on Signature Rosé. Thank you so much. It's phenomenal. I'm glad. Yeah, for those of you who didn't know, Rafe won the Hall of Fame and above spin, the second spin, prize spin of 
signature rosé for the member chant the uh, member giveaway last month. Which those of you members watching, I did put a poll out for the first prize for both both sets of t uh, like the the other spins I decide, but the main prizes you guys vote on on what I need to buy. So uh, Niles wanted to do a giveaway on the channel this month. So the second spin for the Hall of Fame and Super Fan tiers is uh is going to be a, a bottle of the new formula of manhattan he's sending the new formula my way apparently the opening has changed from the original manhattan from city rhythm fragrances so um i could have picked whatever but I, and i and i thought about doing saint john but it was like you know what let's manhattan's more of a signature scent whereas saint john's a summer fragrance it's a tropical beach fragrance so let's go with something that you know Whoever, where, wherever you are, you can enjoy whoever wins it. So the second prize spin is going to be a 50 ml of the new formulation of Manhattan from City Rhythm Fragrance. Uh, don't know what's going to win for the first prize spin right now. Let's, let's take a look at the votes and see what's in the lead. Just to give you guys an idea. Your channel. Membership. So... Right now, Percival 125 ml is leading, uh, and we have a tie for second place in the votes for a 90 ml of Initio Musk Therapy and a 100 ml of Zerzhov Renaissance. So either one, nobody voted for Reflection Man, which Reflection Man almost won two months ago. And then BDK Tobacco Rose doesn't have any votes currently. So any of you members that are Hall of Fame and Super Fan tier, don't forget to go vote for what's going to be this month's giveaway. Where it stands right now, uh, what's in the lead is a 125 ml bottle of Parfums Marley Percival because I try to go with channel favorites and stuff that I got, I know you guys would like. And then for the um, All Star tier and above, the 9.99 tier, which everybody 9.99 and above is eligible for these. Right now, what's winning is 100 ml of One Million Royal. Very close second is Brioni Eau de Parfum Eclat, personal favorite of mine. And not too far behind is Gentleman Reserve Privé. No votes for the most wanted 100 ml. And it looks like only one vote for Jean-Paul Gaultier's Scandal Le Parfum. But it's it's kind of a, a race between Brioni Eclat and 1 million Royal. So and then the second prize spin, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with that yet. And then third prize is the mystery box that we've been doing lately. It's going to be a ton of samples this month. A ton of niche samples is going to be the mystery box. So there's that. There is that. Close this off. So we about to hit an hour. We we'll hang out for a little bit longer. Lamal Elixir might be worth Macy's. There you go. They are at most Macy's now, from what I understand. So there's a way, good way to get it at a discount. Club Denny, we see all good stuff. Hope the move was great. Kenneth Cole reaction. Good cheapy. I agree. Very good cheapy. That's the biggest difference. If you have the original Ralph's Club versus the Elixir, they're the furthest apart because it's all green aromatics and woods versus earthy iris and woods and smoky, a little smoky, like smoky, earthy iris and woods. So big difference. Very, very easy going mass appealing versus a little bit more matured, elegant and dressy. So not as redundant as you may think. The happy medium is the parfum. That's the happy medium. But those are actually pretty pretty opposite sides of the spectrum. Going to duck out for the night, guys. We'll keep an eye on the news for a Florida man arrested walking naked through town. Says he wasn't naked. He was wearing Kahila Platinum. <laughs> good night. Have a good one, Dan. I don't think you need to worry about that. So, <clears throat> Same but di different. Way better. Let's see. I'm really looking forward to your full collection video. When it releases, the shelves look awesome behind you. At some point, at some point, uh, probably towards the end of the month is when I'll be doing that. I want to. I got so much to do here still. Get everything set up before I do the tour of it. Yeah. It's tiring. Okay. Yeah. Yes, this is the best one. Yeah, this is definitely the best one. Lost my wallet when I get new cards and I'll update my membership. Just noticed I don't have a membership. I just noticed you don't have a membership either, Spencer, now that you say it. 
<laughs> Spencer won the first 999 giveaway the first month we did it. He won the 75 ml DR Home Sport. Kenneth Cole Black is another great one. Bergamot pencil shavings is what I get. So I don't have black. I have vintage black. Uh, I don't even know if I've ever smelled Kenneth Cole Black, honestly. Got to edit. Have a great night. Well, Josh, it was good to see you. I'm actually about to shut it down. We just hit the one hour mark. Um, I appreciate all of you for being here. Uh, thank you guys. Seriously. Um, going to be live again tomorrow, 3 o'clock Central. Not sure what the topic's going to be just yet. But it was nice to get back to doing some live streams. Obviously, I still have quite a bit of stuff to do. Um, it's not like it's just a couple of days to unpack and get settled in and get everything situated. But I'm getting there. The bulk of it's been done. But I appreciate you guys. You make sure to like this on your way out. If you haven't checked out this past week's rotation, that's the video that came out this morning. Definitely go check it out. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one.